All right, we are here with Christina. Check out Kickstarter projects. Hello, Christina. What up, what up? How are you doing tonight? Doing awesome. Cool. We got a lot of Kickstarter decks as always. I'm not going to lie, the demon card deck kind of interests me, although yeah, kind of lackluster funding in a lot of these. Let's check out the demon card. It's 50 cards, so naming it tarot is kind of optimistic with 50 backers that's also a little bit low but um that looks kind of cool what do you think mm, I don't, nah. not into the demon thing not so much not into the uh, great duke of hell i don't think so no the great duke it's of hell it's not doing it for me if it, if it were more like world of warcraft <laughs> maybe maybe some orcs yeah give me some druids some or orcs and druid have like yeah, a some uh, trolls yeah some, some trolls. undead yeah uh, 71 bucks out for 50 cards kind of hurts that is uh that, that's a little painful there um eighth house tarot oh, stardust tarot looks a good a little bit too i'll take this out real quick oh not a lot no no, no. i want to check this out keep looking not a lot to go for um yeah. what am i looking at uh, no. majors <laughs> oh, uh, a little, bit, little bit on the stretch i don't you know here lately i've been seeing a lot of decks like this this style you know just kind of like random cut out pictures from magazines put together yeah okay yeah i don't know i don't know about that okay yeah not a big fan yeah, of those check out the stardust. stardust you and stardust yes, okay I love that. that looks pretty good this, is, this has got potential it, you know it has looks a little like the um what was your favorite one that the muse the mute yes doesn't it have a muse feel Persian, to it yeah that has a, it does see, it does like that it has a muse feel because in the muse you that's had that's pretty i like that you had the mirrored images you have hands over here that mirrored the hands etc etc so you have sound of the same you thing did, going yeah. over here so that's pretty looks it's got the cool. little bling in it and look the gold nice nice little touch i like it the borders are really turned me off no i know you don't like borders but i mean and with some decks it is appropriate and looks good okay i think this is okay really yeah i like it that does have a muse feel to it, it if, does. if you and wanted if you, to pick you the, this you, up and if you cut this if you cut these down then it wouldn't have that whole effect of the musey look okay well you're gonna pay 100 bucks for it are you in the mood to pay 100 bucks for this Ooh, no <laughs> but that's with all the kickstarters i mean i'm not happy with the price jump that is I mean, it's an attractive deck i can see from the gold edging i imagine it's like super high quality cards are probably oversized um uh, I mean, no, they're standard size. 300 G. Okay, they're they're uh, crappy quality, and they have a... Uh, no, they're crap. 300 GSM is not that bad, but nowadays, if you're under 310, I get nervous. The gold embossing satin finish... I mean, it does have it does have some appeal, but not 100 bucks appeal. I'd have right. to see more cards. Yeah, I think when you go to Kickstarter, you really Ooh. need to have your game up. Bow Tarot. The Bow Tarot has, yep. like, almost no backers has like seven backers well maybe did it just start maybe. it reminds me of the um oh let's say i would say the um tasty tarot reminds me of the tasty tarot <laughs> doesn't it a little bit it's got a little bit of digital action it's got some of the you yeah. know dynamic colors it's very vibrant and nobody Another backs it style and nobody backs it well so. maybe it just started uh, okay one backed wow one that's back. sad <laughs> what, how much how back? much yeah that's what it said uh one pledge back. without a reward we have eight dollars somebody just basically wanted to donate eight dollars okay so if i wanted a deck of this card what wait that's zero a, backers that's a jumbo card um about 23 bucks three jumbo cards okay the oh, actual backers, tarot yeah. deck yeah is 80 bucks but that's australian no, that's that's U.S. That's U.S. That's translated A to U. US. Eighty bucks, seventy nine dollars for this. Are you in the mood it's to about pay sixty dollars? Are you in the mood to pay? Well, apparently after you ship it, it's oh, seventy nine. Right, 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 right. Are you in the mood to pay seventy nine dollars for this? No. <laughs> okay. Nope. I think I have enough rider weight. Damage. All right. Now we get into the big <laughs> one, which is classics, but make it gay. I like this one already. I I'm backing Let's see this. More. I'm backing this. Ew. What I've seen, I mean, you know, I love, I love it. this. This reminds me of the um, the art tarot, the art tarot that I have. What was the name of that thing? The um, revival art. Revival art tarot, doesn't it? Reminds me of the revival. Yeah, let's see more. Let's see more. 
There is a lot more. Ooh, look at the book. This line, that's an attractive book. That's a really, if that's what the cards look like, I'm, I mean, I'm in. I'm, I'm definitely in. Oh, I like this a lot. So is this, so we gathered but 60. Look at the different styles. Oh, it's Kinda not going to be the same style. It's going to be different styles. Why oh, collab decks. I think collab decks are miss or are, are hit and miss. What makes a collab deck good is when they all look at least moderately similar. Yeah, so it has kind of a flow to it. I think this looks similar enough though, because the Vox Tarot is a collab deck, and I think that knocked it out of the park. Don't you? Yeah. And it's got the golden art um, nouveau type feel to it, mm -hmm. and it's got the revival art tarot borders around it. So they. I think they, they took a lot of cues off the Revival Art Tarot. And it, I mean, even if it's a collab, if it's like Vox to where it all looks similar enough, I'm going to do it. Um, I love the, the, the first appearance of it. Merch. I wish it would have Two taken that. And merch. Okay, so this is physical copy of the book. Is this not a deck? Physical copy of the book and a digital art PDF. So where's like the deck? Uh, all gone. Get the book. Get the book and merch. Is there not a deck? What What the hell's what? going on here? No. no. Um, what's going on? Moving on. Well, I don't want to move on. I'll find out. Like, <laughs> why can't I get a deck? It says tarot cards. I got a digital art book. I got a sticker. And then I got a physical copy of the book and a digital art PDF. What's happening here? I don't know. Like, where's the deck? I don't know. I, I guess I need to read more, obviously. So maybe this was... A deck that's already out. They have a, I don't know. I don't, anyway, it has a lot of backers. Um, what do you think about the Witch's Tarot? Let's see it. It is like that. Ooh. Mm, a little interesting. Oh, it's kind of dark, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, not so much. Yeah, no. Um, I mean, I want to like it, but. Is she holding her boob? What's happening here? This is really getting dark. I don't know. I think she's like has to hold up her boob. That's like a push-up bra, but you have she to use two points. hands. Maybe it's just that she had her hand out and it just looked like she was cupping her boob. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna pass on that. Oh, what is this one to the right here? The good dog and happy pup. The good, good dog and happy hero. pup. Oh, that's a little vomit-inducing. Is it? You'd really oh, go for this? Well, I mean, the the colors drew me in, but you know. Well, the colors drew me in with the bumble very hollow, but it had meat on the bone. This doesn't look like a lot of meat on the bone. Yeah, I'm disappointed already. Yeah. I that... want to be more positive in this video, but. Uh, <laughs> well, you don't have to be more positive. But we're gonna have like seven thousand. Look at me backers. This has Jesus through Egypt. All right, I, I see a lot of backs. Oh no, what the hell? I see a lot of, that's a good looking back on the card, man. And then I get to the front and I'm like, no, um, that's going to be no, mm -mm. that is going to be no. At least it comes with a certificate of authenticity. So, you know, it is not fake tarot inspired yoga mats. Okay. You have my attention. You have my attention. There's like the Z, well, there's nine backers. Um, well, you have my attention until I see the graphics next. <laughs> oh, because I mean, I showed you the um, the Magic the Gathering mats that look like the tarot. Mm -hmm. So those got my attention and those kept my attention. Those got my money too. Um, the Vibra Tarot. This is one I was interested in. I got to say, this looks kind of cool. What do you think? I mean, just first impression. No. Really? Why? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just, I don't like the style. I don't, I just don't like the style. Really? Just the the same thing? I don't know. I would have collage? to look, listen, I would have to look a little bit closer at them, but they look a little bit, all, you know, a little bit out there. A little bit generic collage? Well, not generic, but kind of just out there. Okay. Um, well, now we have reverted to a year ago decks. Okay. Feels like a year ago. Decks from like... Two weeks ago, feels like a year ago. Everything moves so fast. Um, Soothsayin' Saloon. I don't know what's going on with that. That Moon Baby Tarot, I looked at that the other day, and I thought, that might be something I like. Pocket of Peers. I backed this. I backed it. it it's, it's a mix of real faces with stylish art. I mean, what, yeah, what I like your... this, actually. Yeah. It's just a little different, but I kind of like the style. It's got Mary Kay Greer. Yeah. Interesting indeed. So that's pretty cool. I like it, you know, sort of insert 
a little bit of realism into some good looking look at art. the star card it's so sweet yeah, I, I think the inventiveness, look at the world, just sort of having a tarot reading happening in the world. It's like the whole thing is just so friendly to tarot readers, and it's just so dynamic and unpredictable, you know what I mean? I feel like if you would have, if you had a personal connection to this deck, it would be really, really amazing. Oh, yeah, if you're one of the people in it? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Look at the, look at a Rubik's Cube. Mm-hmm. And put them, do the Rubik's Cube that trick. That should be on the Magician card. Should be on the Magician card. That's <laughs> right. Five of Wands. There's no conflict with the Rubik's Cube. No. We all love the Rubik's Cube. Japanese anime tarot. This was, this was really iffy for me, and I wanted to back it. 154 people did back it, but I ended up backing out. No pun intended. Yeah. I, I think it's because... Uh, oh, well, let me see. How much was it? How much was it? I think it's because of the stinky tarot I got from France or whatever. Maybe kind of nervous about this, but I don't know. I don't know. I it's kind of iffy, kind of iffy on me. I'm really on the fence with it, and overall, I just decided not to go for it. Even though I did actually say I was going to go for it, I did not go for it. So that's my bad. Um, what else did we have? We had some interesting stuff down here that's still loading. Fox's wedding is back. I mean, this went away, it came back, it went away, it came back. This was a no-brainer for me. What do you think? I, mean, I kind of like this one. It is a little collage, a but pull. it's done artistically. Yeah. And I think, th how many back, I mean, how many times have they tried to do this? They tried to do it a couple of times. I mean, you remember me talking about this before, right? Yeah, is this the one? Two created. Um, no, they only did it once. Yeah, 144% funded. And the first one, it was unsuccessful. How many How many people did it? 269. That's okay. a lot of backers. Well, they had an 18K goal. So mm -hmm. I think they tried a little a little bit aggressive on the goal. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's a beautiful deck. And I, I pledged on it and, and it definitely... I mean, definitely one of those things, right? So it is fifty bucks. But oh, nice! Yeah, it's a little, little less. A little less. It's not a hundred bucks. It's like a little more appealing. Now, what do you think about the drowning world? We got dudes half naked, well, sometimes clothed. We got a couple of wieners. Um, I think they're covered up with a fig leaf. A little bit of the Adam and Eve thing. Well, like, what do you very think? Very busy. Here? Very, very, very busy. Very busy. Well, busy, busy at a distance. I mean, let's see some of the up close. What do you think? Oh. Not so bad. Well, the thing, interesting. How do you how do you read I with this? I, I would have to like look at the cards, feel the cards, be in the presence of them. <laughs> so I mean, how would you read potential. with this? So if I have a job reading and I want to know if I'm going to get a job next week and you get this, what the hell are you going to tell me? I don't know. I, I don't know. There's I see a skeleton over there and nah. yeah, you got the tentacle fingers. There's something gro something growing on his wiener. <laughs> he's, he's, he's got he's got wiener that's growth. That's a good thing. Yeah. Got wiener growth. Uh, normally, wiener growth is not good. I mean, I'm, yeah, that's a, you know, I'm not being prejudiced to wiener growths out there or anything, but it's there's something growing on your wiener. That's that's kind of. I mean, here we yeah, go. We a got a little bit of a, covering it up, but yeah, at least know, it's not look like it doesn't look like a funky growth. I'm not going to comment on manhood or anything, but I mean, I'm just saying. All right, let's go back. Let's go back to uh, oracles. Let's what go back. What are all to, the symbols on his body? I don't. I don't. I mean, I imagine Weird. that's explained somewhere, right? Yeah. So what do you think about this one? This one really interests me, but I have so many decks that I'm kind of easing up on the oracles but now. But if I was going to pick up an oracle, this I mean, pretty. what do you think? It looks pretty so far. I like it. I like it, just the feel of it, the graphics. I like sort of the, the whole thing. It reminds me of mass mm -hmm. market. It looks good. It looks a little 3D, doesn't it? But it, yeah, but it looks good. I think it's, it's really stylish. I mean, yeah, I like you, I like how the, the logo is at the bottom. Yeah. Reading altar. Okay, so they made an altar cloth. You know, I'm always fascinated by altar cloths. You need it to do it good, though, and that is not good. Yeah. I mean, that's so generic. No color in that deck is colorful. I mean, yeah, I, yeah if you're going to make an altar cloth, why don't you make it look like one of the cards? I mean, what if you had that inside of the or one of the, all of these anime or all of these uh, creatures and all of that inside of the cloth? Maybe do they think? don't want it to take away from the card. But I, maybe, maybe. There is there are two worlds there where some people are like, yeah, keep it exact. 
Mm -hmm. and the other people a lot of these oracles are bleeding into the tarot because they're using tarot keyword in there just so they go into the other realm um but yeah we have the manhood deck over there we have the spirited oracle phantom fauna that's interesting heroine's journey well, that's kind of cool what do you think about that looks, looks interesting nice i like the fox and the looks owl really eye, but... generic that border you just don't like those borders. I'm not a big I'm not a big border fan. Ooh, that looks interesting. Uh, yeah, see, if you did that with no borders, you'd have my attention. Like bottom line. Look at that. I like that. That is kind of cool. It's got a little bit of watercolor feel to it, but it's mixed with a little bit of it looks like like loose acrylic type feel. Uh, overall. So what's your favorite so far out of all of these? Oh, I don't have a favorite. I like I like them all. Some, anyway. <laughs> you just like give them all to me right now? Uh, no, not really. I wouldn't probably pay for, I mean, that classic, but make it gay. It looked really promising, but, but there's after no cards. seeing the card. Yeah, oh, that's right. Exactly. There's no cards. And what they do have examples of is, yeah. Okay, let's read it. What's we got to figure this yeah. out. The birth of lesbians, we got that too. Sure. I mean, that's fine. I, I'm, I'm talked into it. You got me. You got me hooked. We love the first picture. It was Where great. can I buy some cards? Painted. The cover has been painted. I don't care. Maybe they're cards. working on building a deck. Mm, we are out of tarot cards. Okay. Oh. We ended up selling them all. Well, why don't you reprint them? Uh, I'm not planning to reprint. It would take 500 orders, which is basically an additional cast campaign. I don't know. I mean, you, you. They're trying to sell the rest of their inventory. Is what happened. It's really a tease. It it's is. It's really a tease. It's Print like more we cards, ran out of folks. cards, but I need to... You probably to, would make an extra profit. But I now I need to sell my art that I worked on to make the cards. And let me make mm -hmm. a book out of the art. And Just then I'll sell that cards. too. I'll sell that too. Yeah. Well, why would they need to sell the... the I mean, they got 2,000 freaking people that... I don't, you got 2,000 people that are interested. Why can't you reprint it? 500 decks? I think 2,000 backers is going to cover your 500 decks. Right? I mean, I would have bought that deck... I mean, that just this alone drew me in. So if you could go the distance, provide the deck. Right, right. You know, you got 2,000 people. You probably would have a profit. That click the button to get your art. At that point, you need to click print the deck. Okay, uh, I'm waiting for the, the next Kickstarter campaign. Maybe they'll listen to your news. And no, nobody listens to the news. Yes, they do. Okay, anyway. All right, and that is it. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate that. And um, any last words? Have a lovely evening or day or whatever time of the whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.